Okay, we're going to talk about rise over run. This is the way to do it in the grade A class. We climb the stairs and we and we repeat it. Rise over run. Rise over run. Rise over run. Do that all the way up the stairs and remember rise over run. We get to the bottom and we measure. This is the rise. This is the run. Okay, we call that slope. So follow me. Now we're on the X and Y axis over here, and we're going to talk about the slope, which is rise over run, and we have a symbol called M, which we use to describe the slope. And I'm going to do slopes that have a rise of three and a run of two. So I'm starting from here at this point, which is minus 10, three. I'm going to do a rise of three, a run of two. A rise of three, a run of two. The slope of this line is three halves. Let's go to this line over here. I started at zero, one. Three, six, nine. Rise of nine and a run of two, four, six. Nine, six is the same as three over two. Okay, another line and it's parallel to this one. Let's go down to this line over here. I started at negative eight, 12. Okay, up three, up six, up nine, up 12. Two, four, six, eight. 12, eight is three over two. One more line starting at zero, negative 12. Okay, up three over two, up three over two, up three over two, up three over two. All the slopes have a line, slope of three halves. They are all parallel. The key word is parallel. Parallel means they never meet.